Valentine's Day this week. Now, I don't know whether or not you've got any cards, but the thing is, it doesn't matter. It was a time when it would really have bothered me if I hadn't got a card. And the reason for that is because at that a time, I used to draw my self-worth from what other people thought of me. I used to rely on, rely on them to make me feel good about myself, to make me feel like I was worth something. But if you do that, the thing is, you're always going to be disappointed because people are always going to fall short of your expectations. They're just human, like you. No one is perfect. They're always going to let you down at some point. And the people, also another point is the people you're looking to, to bolster your confidence, to boost your self-esteem, they're probably in the same boat as you are. Now, I'll give an example of how things used to be for me. Maybe you recognise this in yourself. Before I was a Christian, I used to go to nightclubs a lot. And when the end came, when the slow dances came on, if nobody came and asked me to dance, I'd take it as a personal failure, a rejection of me as a person. But when you come to Jesus, you realise that there is someone in whose love you can be secure. You don't have to keep impressing him or do anything outrageous to make him look at you, to notice you. His love is steady and it's a place where you can rest secure and you can find your self-worth in his love. Knowing and experiencing this transforms the way you feel about yourself because God loves you. No matter what you do or say, obviously, if you want to follow him, you don't live a life of sin, but you don't have to do anything to make him love you more. You follow and you enjoy him. Another point is, you don't ever have to worry about failing him, because if you fall, he'll catch you and help you back on your feet again. If you're someone who's single and is wanting a partner, you need, there's one thing you need to get right first, and that's draw your self-worth from the worth Jesus put on you when he died on the cross for you. That way, in, when in God's time we just bring someone along, you won't cling to them for your self-worth and put a strain on them to keep bolstering your confidence. You'll be secure in Christ and that way you can be a blessing to another person instead of a strain on them. Remember though, we were created for a relationship with God and there's no human relationship that can fill that void. And putting that type of demand on another person would just mean the relationship will be unhappy. Yet when God's first, the relationship will be blessed.